All right, guys, what's going on? So here we are on Windows 8, and I'm going to show you how to put Backtrack R3, uh, Backtrack 5 R3, on a bootable USB. So first thing you're going to need is the thing that I don't have anywhere near me right now. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Is you're going to need about a 4 gigabyte uh, USB 2.0 drive, and... Uh, you're gonna simply just plug it in here like so and it'll come up and uh, right click on it and you're gonna want to format it and make it FAT32 capacity you got like that and uh, just do a quick format hit OK and allow that to format like that Format's complete. And you can close this now. And if we open this up, I'm going to remove this queue, click on properties, you'll see that it's FAT32. And you want to make sure nothing is on that. Alright, so after that, uh, these are two files I'm going to have you download. I will have Mediafire links for these files. Um, so, first things first is you're going to want to open up the UNet Booten. Windows 583. So double click on that and open that up. You will need administrative privileges, so click yes and open up this program. Now here is this. So now, welcome to UNet Boot, the universal net boot installer usage. Select a distribution of version to download from this list above or manually specify files. Select an installation type and press OK. So you want ISO, disk image, you want to browse, go to the desktop where I have my backtrack and open that up. <clears throat> and blah 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 blah. Space use prefers preserve files across reboots, Ubuntu only. Type USB drive. Make sure you select Q or whatever the drive it is that you're looking for. So just to make sure, we want Q. For our drive, and uh, after that, this is uh, you can download shit right here. This is basically, and then you select your version here, uh, but you can download it separately and just do it manually. And uh, so you set it USB drive after you load the ISO, set your drive, and then just click OK. Extracting and it'll skip the download process and just go to extracting and copying files so allow that to do its thing there and then it will install the bootloader and then it'll say installation complete and then you're gonna wanna reboot well you don't have to reboot but <clears throat> that's about it so we're gonna let this do its thing and uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So wait for this to finish, and then it's going to install the bootloader, which shouldn't take any time at all, and then it'll finish up. So I'll come when it's all finished, and uh, we'll be right back. So, yeah. All right, so now that that's done, uh, it's going to ask you for a reboot. And uh, basically, um, all you do is basically boot from the USB that you just created. And uh, I will show you on my laptop. Uh, so, and unfortunately, I can't record it with a screen recorder, but I can record it with uh, a camera. So, I'll get on my laptop and I'll show you that now. So, I'm just going to exit and uh, we'll go test this on my laptop. All right, so here we are at my laptop, obviously. And here's the USB stick that we just created. And uh, there's, there's the video in the edit formation. So just plug this into one of your USB ports before you even turn the computer on and then just boot it up. Now you're going to tap like F10 or F12 or whatever to uh, get to your boot menu. Uh, I believe mine's F12. Oh, I'm in hibernation. i got to reboot. So I'm just going to bring this up so I can resume Windows real quick. Okay, 
einem Okay, start you restart. So we're restarting the computer now. <laughs> All right, so shutting down, shutting down, shutting down. This shit takes forever. Reboot. Tap in my F12 here. All right, now scroll down and boot from the USB and hit enter. All right, automatic boot will boot uh, if you don't touch anything. You can do the hard drive boot for the first hard disk, the memory test for backtrack, debug safe mode, stealth, no networking enabled, and uh, default boot text only and uh, no driver swap mount or you could just boot the default so I'll just boot the default real quick and we'll go ahead and boot backtrack with the default and here's backtrack 5 so you should see this come up after this process has been completed Alright, so here is booting backtrack. And now basically it's just running this little thing. Now, this is basically a command prompt and you're going to be running it in terminal. So it's going to be all Linux and Macintosh based, not Windows based. So the command prompt is going to be totally different. But this is basically, it lists all the specs on your computer here and then you just type basically what you want it to do brute force is really easy to use through backtrack 5 so um, that's uh, what it does and then uh, if you type help it'll list all the commands if you're unfamiliar with it and uh, that's pretty much it so that's how you get backtrack 5 bootable on a disk I will make some Backtrack 5 tutorials. This is just the installation to a bootable USB. This is basically used for, like, you know, bypassing admin passwords and stuff like that and shit like that. That's what it's known for, anyway, and Wi Fi cracking. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. So, uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, check out my website, software reborn, uh, software dash reborn.com. My bad. And uh, yeah, so there's Backtrack 5. Installation complete. We have a success and uh, download links will be below and enjoy